Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. You're going to be joining us on a five-day canoe trip. We're going to be going through the Okefenokee Swamp. We're leaving out a Kingfisher. We're all loaded up, ready to go, and we're going to be headed to Mall Hammock tonight. Uh, we're still in the canal. None of our days are going to be terribly long, but this is all pretty still water. I think the temperature is like 67 or so. So it's pretty comfortable. This is February 4th. Essentially we are, we're just looking at the mega lag. Shallow right here, I'm touching. So the wind's picking up, but we are kind of in a channel here. We've been in a channel the entire time. It's not really anywhere open at all. So we're kind of protected in it. We'll hit a little opening and uh, it'll blow us around a little bit, but it's really not too bad. Probably the oddest thing we've encountered so far is uh, there's floating, floating peat moss around and it looks solid. Uh, the trail got real shallow and I thought we were on a bad line. So I went to plant a paddle in it and there was nothing there. You could just blow right through it. So this is, you can still get power boats this far in. I think we're maybe four miles in. And the width of this is maybe eight feet, maybe eight, 10 feet max. It's pretty freaking tight actually. I think I've got like a 10 horsepower max. Uh huh, okay. So a small motor, so you'd think like a John boat or something through here. Not a lot of traffic. There is a canoe that's two days ahead of us on the logbook. We have to sign in. And on the sign in sheet, a guy's doing the same trip that we are, the same four night loop. And he's two days ahead of us. So it was pretty undisturbed through here. So we've got our mile markers here. I said we were four miles in, we were almost four miles in. So they are pretty easy to follow and you really couldn't turn if you wanted to. We're just in a little channel here, little small channels. Now that we're out of those real tight channels, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit and it bites us. And we are supposed to rain today. As far as we're supposed to get rain, but uh, I don't know how much. It's not supposed to rain until later this evening. We have marker, mile marker number five is coming up here. And we've got just a few raindrops. Nothing, nothing too bad yet. And it's blue skies behind the dark clouds. And the wind's kicking pretty good, so it should blow that stuff over us fairly quickly. There's an alligator right there. That's our first gator of the trip, as I was doing something else. So we jumped another alligator back there. And the, uh, he was up on his nest. We've seen quite a few nests. And we backtracked to try to get him on the camera, and it just wasn't happening. But there has been a significant change here. Definitely, this is the most open we've seen it. So we got a little channel here. There's mile marker eight, right beside the canoe. And you can see we just left that, that giant flat. But even as open as it was, the, the canoe trail was pretty well defined. It was right, right down the middle. You would have had to try pretty hard to get off course. So we're about eight miles in, and we've got about four miles yet to go. So we've got a little, little snack. We're dry. I mean, it rained just a little bit. A little bit of wind, but we're out of it most of the time. This has been a pretty decent trip so far. Lucky to be here. I left a pretty massive snowstorm just, just in time.
So we have less than two miles to go, and it's starting to rain. It's not it's not raining real hard, but it the skies look pretty consistent all the way around. So I'm just putting the camera away. I'll pull out the camera again once we see our uh, camping spot for the evening. We just saw a sign back there for the mall hammock uh, camping area. And it's a chicky sticking up out of the water. And there's a little split up ahead here. We'll see what the what the evening's gonna hold for us. Weather's getting dark. I'm gonna be glad to get off the water here pretty soon. Our evening shelter is gonna be the left. All right, day one, 12 miles in, mall hammock. So we are getting off the water at just about the right time. The storm's kind of blowing in on us here. This is what we're looking at. Kind of an open prairie area of the swamp. So we got a picnic table. We're covered where we're at. Nice little sun deck here. Uh, there is a bathroom. So this is, can't beat this with a stick. Mall hammock is definitely on my recommended stay list. Almost three o'clock, so we've been here about an hour, close to an hour, and I am really glad we're off the water right now. We're protected here, but it's blowing in on us on the sides. We're both set up, our hammocks are set up. Uh, my uh, insulation, I'm gonna keep that in a dry bag until the last possible minute. I don't want sideways wind getting everything wet on our first night. Uh, I am using an air mattress as well because we're going to be staying in a cabin on one of the trips or one of the nights. So I want the ability to not hammock camp if I choose to. And I am definitely not inflating my air mattress in this kind of weather just to have it blow away. So if I use it at all today, it's just going to be in the last, you know, just a few minutes before bed. But we're hunkering down. We'll probably maybe grab, a, grab an early lunch, see how the weather holds out. Uh, but definitely glad we're off the water. 12 miles in this weather would really suck.